Today, one of the members in the rooms in my Sector Secrets Mastery actually shared with me this article. Day traders lose $358,000 per day gambling on zero day options. And by the way, I don't want to single out SPX because I would say this metric probably applies to a lot of things. SPY, QQQ, TLT, GLD, Apple, you name it. And so we want to talk a little bit about um, what the SPX presents as a challenge differently, but what are some of the things that traders need to do to not be one of this statistic? I think we all want to say, all right, there's lots of ways to win, but there really are just a few things that we need to do to understand how not to lose, right? And this is scary stat, but it's, it's pretty darn accurate, right? So researchers at the University of Munster, good cheese, in Germany, that's probably my favorite kind. So these folks in Germany said that the crowd has lost $358,000 a day since May of 2022, when it became possible to trade expiring contracts every day, otherwise known as a zero DTE. Wow. All right. So let's get into how not to be one of the statistics. Okay. So there's a few things that we've been talking about when it comes to account growth. So here on the flip side of losing lots of money, what's on the other side of that coin? How do you grow an account? And there's actually three things that everyone can do to start off with to help grow an account. Let's start with the, with the foundation, right? And aren't we all just here to grow an account? So on the flip side of losses, what, what does everyone think a losing trader, not just an SPX or anything does? And I asked my group at the Sector Secrets Mastery, what do you think the, the common mistakes are? Position sizing, trading too large, chasing momentum, FOMO, absolutely, poor timing and max debit, right? Out of the money options with a full debit, no plan, right? Buying the rip and selling the dip. And so we all came up with kind of a really easy list of, hey, what are the mistakes that traders make again and again and again, which are particularly brutal when it comes to a zero days to options expiration. By the way, remember, it's not this is not the only one that zero days to expiration. SPY, QQQ, IWM all have zero days to options expiration. So maybe the question is not, is SPX bad, but how do we grow an account? So the first thing we gotta tackle is, how are we position sizing? If you've never sat down to have a formula to say, hey, Rog, I have a way where I can position size and not present outsized risk to my account. That's number one. What is the risk to the account? So position sizing is part of that. The other part is having a predetermined threshold because this is an unusual aspect to ES trading, SPY trading, or even SPX trading. What is the allowable amount of risk you're gonna to present to your account? And are you determining that ahead of time? And even more importantly, are you following it? You know, a really easy way to know if you trust your entry strategy, and it's a counterintuitive way, but I find this works really well. Do you trust your stop losses? One of the most counterintuitive aspects of not trusting or understanding your trade entry process is, do you follow your stops? Because if you trust your stops, that means you know that your win rate favors wins, just get through the small paper cuts and eventually you'll get to the successful side of your win rate, whether that's 60%, 70%, what have you. So if you're not following your stops, there's an underly underlying mistrust. And by the way, if you're not following your stops, easy way to blow up an account and lose with something as merciless as SPX. So that brings up timing. The last part is timing. So whether it's QQQ, whether it's IWM, SPY, or SPX, all of these have zero days expirations. And we all know that at, at the bell, these things are pretty much uh, going to wander towards useless because the depreciation and the accelerated depreciation of any zero days to options type trading. Timing is the other part. 
And if you've been following along with a lot of what we've been doing in the Sector Secrets Master, you know that that timing around 11, 1130 is very important because the European markets close, the UK markets are closing, the US is going into the lunchtime doldrums. So when you're looking at your losses, here's a really important tip. Take a look at when you're initiating the trade. When are you getting into the trade? And you will find where your win rate is likely going to be better when you initiate a zero days to option call or put earlier in the session as opposed to later in the session. But the bottom line is this. All of this is not about how do I better trade SPX. This is all about how do I grow an account? And if you use the practices of position sizing, predetermined risk and timing, the opposite of that is we practice the good habits. We use a formulaic approach to account growth and risk management, and that then applies to SPX. And that's probably the uncommon answer, which is any way that we're going to grow an account are going to be the habits that focus around this, right? Aren't all the reasons traders lose in the SPX the reason we lose in any kind of trading? 100%. Start with those three aspects, right? Think about those. Put them, put them down to paper. What is your position sizing? What is your predetermined risk? And what are your timing cutoffs? Even more so than timing, what are your timing cutoffs to this style of trading? And look, this means on the flip side, if $358,000 are being lost, remember gang, that means on the flip side of that per day, $358,000, someone's making that money. And I, and I propose, while I can't promise anything, that someone could be us that someone should be us when we are on the right side of the price movement and using these three keys to account growth. Keep that in mind. This is going to be a theme that we're going to take into fall because this is how we beat back those losses. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.